Hello there, I'm Boo, or Jamie, and I like drawing, maximizing my hours in all the Pokemon games to find shinies, and I like to complain about lore in World of Warcraft. Hello, 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 and welcome back to a very strange site, I bet. After we've been hunting, taming, failing to tame and discovering new places in Azeroth and beyond, I thought that after over 30 episodes of the life of my little hunter, it's time to also charter to new and unplayed lands and try maybe a different class for once and also try to do something that isn't taming all the time. Don't you worry, however, I will definitely continue my little adventures on Malarik because we're not done there yet. But we are going to start a new adventure by clicking on the create a new character button and funnily enough we have landed on the right class that I already wanted to choose and we're gonna click onto the Draenei because yep guilty as charged I am one of these Erida slash Minari enjoyers that have been clogging up the streets of Stormwind City. I am so happy that the customization option is finally in the game and sometimes I still can't quite believe it that they really did that but hey I mean it's a long shot from the Fels skirt NPC models but you know what beggars can't be choosers so let's just move on and I think I'm satisfied with how our lady looks and we're gonna see if our name is free it is and I'm gonna do the unthinkable and actually choose the exiles reach for leveling and you might now ask yourself what the hell why would boo do that well boo want to do that because I actually don't mind it that much I haven't played it in a while and I also thought that it would fit the story of a repentive Minari a little bit better than just leveling through the Draenei starting zone where no one is accepting the fact that my skin is red and I am very clearly not one of the good guys. But before we're gonna jump onto the Exiles Reach, I wanted to show you a little trick because if you're like me and you like to have your UI clutter free and the way you like it and not the way Blizzard forces upon you because there is no edit mode in the Exiles Reach, then simply create the character that you wanna level there. It has to be the same name, very important. Log in outside of the Exiles Reach in the normal questing zone that you would otherwise get. Put in the interface in the edit mode that you want to use. Log out, delete the character and create it anew this time on the Excel's reach and ta-da! You're gonna have a nice cleaned up interface. You are a soldier of the Noble Alliance. A coalition of kingdoms upholding the ideals of valor and justice across Azeroth. An alliance expedition sent to explore an uncharted island has recently gone missing. As a bold new recruit, you have joined the rescue mission departing from Stormwind. Find the lost expedition members and bring them home. Or the Alliance! Exactly, for the Alliance guys. <laughs> I think uh, it's very obvious that I'm part of the Alliance. Is this walk around option now just stuck in front of me? Because I think I've proven that I can walk around. Oh, they have more to say to me. The Alliance leaves no one behind. Exactly. When will this tutorial yeah. stop? The last time I did this, the tutorial still bugged out. So I'm trying to follow its ideas for now. But I think I'm getting over this pretty quickly because... All right, first of all, sorry, I cannot think while this lady keeps talking and talking. First, let's click on auto loot because I like to forget that one. And then, if you're also annoyed by tutorials like I am, you have to go into the interface option and then you have to scroll down here. Here we have tutorials. You want to unclick this tutorial bar and all of a sudden, boom, you even have a few more options available to you. This is sadly the only thing you can do to make your experience a little bit more World of Warcrafty. but hey. That's at least something. And now you can also access your heirlooms, which we will do. Da -da -da. Eh, eh. Away with the thing. All right. Now we also need weapons. What do we want? Hell screams cleaver. Sure. Why not? Da -da. We look a little bit overpowered, but hey. And oh yeah, I also wanted to turn off dialogue because I do not like the voice acting of the Exiles Reach that much. I think it's a little bit all over the place and I'm not a fan. But we gonna show Private Cole who's boss now. How do you like my zero energy regeneration, huh? I hope you like it quite well. Yeah, he does. We've survived the crash of our ship, which was to be expected because we are a little hero, even though we don't really look the part of a hero for once. And 
while I'm doing my little questing here, I can already tell you what I'm planning to do with this character because I have to say a lot of you have been really sweet to me and answered my question in the last video if you guys would mind to see something else from me that isn't my hunter all the time. So I thought long and hard about this and I decided to go for the rogue because I think rogues, even though they don't have the little mini game of the hunter, have still a few little things up their sleeves that sets them apart from other classes and even though I've always been fascinated by the class I've never really played it much myself so I thought this would be a fun little adventure to do together. For now we're gonna quest through the Exiles Reach which will probably take us a little bit because even though it's rather quick questing to level 10 it is still a very a very wordy ordeal let's put it that way and I have to say I again Against all odds, don't really hate the Exiles Reach. I'm just sometimes sad of what it could be. Be. if you know blizzard would take it a little bit more serious because i've been always a bit disappointed that after they created these islands they never really you know continued on the idea for example why not add a new chapter every time an expansion comes to an end this could be seen as the bfa chapter we could have a shadowlands and now a dragonfly chapter that would add more to the starting zone more styles more ideas and more importantly more identities because that is i think my biggest squirrel i have with this starting zone it doesn't really have an identity Entity. There are a few hidden things you can find on here and I appreciate that. I really like it. I like that you have some rare mobs on the isles. I like that you can find treasures. I like that there is a little secret like the fact that you can walk over there and get thrown back by Hirokgar. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. But apart from these little things and a few for example hidden pets for hunters, there is not that much special about these isles. And since they are built upon the idea of island expedition, and are using many of their art assets, I think they could have gone way harder than this. And maybe try to incorporate the identity of Alliance and Horde a little bit better than we are Alliance and we are noble and we are the Horde and we are brave. All right, let me see what she wants from me. All right, she wants three combo points. Now she wants four and then she wants five. All right, it's important that you know what you have to do for your quest, all right? God damn it, now I used the wrong combo points because I was talking. <sighs> This is the best quest line in World of Warcraft, by the way. And if I would approach this character solely from a role play point of view or an ambience point of view, I would have never started in this zone because I feel like every single starting zone in the game, except for Draxia, I've never played them, but everything else I can already say from experience is a better one. Apart maybe from Bolvar Death Knights because those people really get the end of the wrong stick. I mean, two quests on top of Ice Crown Citadel that you never return to in any case is not really, you know, it's not really classifying as a starting zone either. So, all right, Exiles Reach, you, you're a little bit better than that. I, I, I can tell you that. But I promise you for now, that's gonna be all I will say about this questing zone and what I would do all differently if I was a game developer. We will take your soul and raise the dragon from the dead. But the hope was in the light to rain down upon you. Ha, our dragon will crush them. We have other rituals to oversee. Save the final moments of your life. Oh no. Hello, my guy. I know I'm a rogue. I should stealth at you, but don't have a real opener right now. So, you know, that much I know about rogues, all right? Mother, I'm sorry. I tried to fight the ogres, but they were too strong. Henry, Henry always, always remember, remember that, you that you are more than, than your mistakes. mistakes. Now, Private Garrick, I want a full situation report. You know, it's voice acting like this that makes me dislike this part of the whole adventure because, yeah. If you would make a drinking game out of every time I say someone on Twitter said, then you would probably be drunk at the end of the video. But hear me out. <laughs> someone on Twitter said that a lot of modern World of Warcraft quest writing reads like, you know, some of the devs for this first time went to the therapy sessions and now got their first few lessons in self-worth and how to improve your self-worth 
And I gotta say, once I've read that, I cannot unsee it. And that is fine every now and then, but especially on the Exiles read and especially in Dragonflight, they love to write their quests like that. And don't get me wrong, self-worth is very important and you should never take it for granted or lightly. But do I need it in every quest in my Warcraft game? I'm not so sure about that one. Hmm. What kind of title could we give ourselves? Ah, there are so many to choose from. I know that this was already my problem when I started Malric back in the day, two months ago. Well, it's definitely not gonna be smelly, I can tell you that for free. And I think the honorable would be a stretch as well. The butcher? The butcher. Yeah. All right, Hrn, the exiled. Your last hour has told. I think that is once again a very German thing to say. And I don't think you can just translate it into the English language. All right. And while we're doing this very relaxing right out of this collapsing cave, let me sort some of my toys that I like to put in. My action bars. Do you know how irritating it is for someone like me who has no orientation whatsoever to not have a minimap? Now I kind of feel like I want to use daggers. Slow weapons, they're always such a drag. That darn mage is stealing all of my mobs. Well, I'm gonna steal this ram up from him. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, Mr. Mage, you want to hit this? Mr. Mage, yeah, very good. Ooh, and he gave me intellect for my troubles. Hell yeah. You know, not gonna lie, sometimes I feel like we could use a little bit more of the old RP systems and I feel like a class like a rogue could definitely benefit from intellect, right? Let's just stand behind her menacingly. Oh yeah, a little fun fact for hunters. Just because I'm not a hunter right now doesn't mean that I would ever stop giving tips to hunters every now and then. On the Exiles Reach, you have two different very unique pets that you can only tame here. One of them I have never tamed myself. I only read about it while I was doing my research for other YouTube videos. Apparently, once you have made it to this part of the adventure and you can tame your first pet, if you go back to the ship i don't really know where but probably somewhere at the beach there should be a little wolf that for alliance players has blue bands on its paws and for hard players had red ones and those are the only wolves that have these kind of customizations they're not that outstanding but still they are the only ones and you know me i'm always a sucker for unique pets and the other pet is rather easy to see and not easy to miss it's kill claw the terrible although i think that he loses the mace that is stuck in his side but he definitely keeps his super cool name that makes him very special in my opinion my lord low level rogue gameplay truly is something to behold isn't it they're part of a class quest which uh, is something that i really Really like about the exiles reach and i wish they would have expanded upon this whole idea of the exiles reach a lot more in which i mean that there would be a lot more special things to do here because i really like class quests and i definitely belong to the people that miss them dearly and think they should have resurfaced in the world of warcraft ages ago because what i think these are lacking is just first of all my idea where to go to get my next quest right now the deadliest of poisons oh oh i wasn't done yet ah i'm not a blizzard dev i don't know what's going on in their heads maybe they really like this very run-of-the-mill questing experience i mean it looks pretty and sometimes that's all what people care about so hey maybe it works out for them all right now we can continue to quest let's go oh wait we didn't do the light quest yeah because there's like this light spawn that you can quest with and he gives you like a little boost that you zoom around like a crazy person as soon as you complete the quest and um yeah let's just say i don't have a mini map so i have no orientation and i didn't see the quest mark on my mini map you know it's more about the lifestyle that you keep in stealth all the time it's less about the necessity of it but trust me i'm a now 33 minutes and 58 seconds rogue main so my opinion on the matter matters especially if i ignore captain garrick's teaching and don't use stuff when i have five but when i have four combo points 
And I'm so sorry. When I hear this music, all I think about is that I have to maximize my heart of Azeroth. Hello. Any more ogres that want to die to my daggers? I kind of still need to end four of your lives, you know. Do you think this ogre chef drops a chef's head? Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, no. He just drops a rusty hatchet. Missed opportunity in my opinion. Oh yeah. Crippling poison. Let's go. Oh, and also we can switch our spec. I gotta say, I am a pirate at heart, not you. But I really like the subtlety spec. Subtlety? Subtlety. Even though Outlaw got one of my favorite WoW characters of all time as a profile picture, which is pretty dope. For now, I think we're gonna go with the dagger wielding little shadow casters. I'm open for any kind of tip or recommendation. And now we're gonna sign up for our very epic and first dungeon, the Dogmall Citadel. Let's go. Maybe we will be cute with a real person. Uh, no. All right. But what I can already see is that I have not ticked these uh, boxes. Much better. Much better. My energy regeneration really leaves much to desire to. You know, if there's something worse in World of Warcraft than being stunned or being feared, it's definitely waiting for your buttons to be pressable because you're missing the required resources. Also something I've always been a little bit sad about is the fact that... Ow. Sheesh. Girlie, can you please take the aggro of this mob? That you still cannot mock daggers on top of swords, for example, and the other way around. Because otherwise, I think I would be much more inclined to play outlaw. Because even though I really, really, really like swords and axes and maces and whatnot, it's so seldom that I actually get to transmog all the daggers that I've collected over the years. And to be fair, every time I can actually play a class that can hold daggers, I always try to go for them. You know, the problem is that this dungeon suggests to you that your usual group members mostly do their roles perfectly and never fail to heal you in a dangerous situation. And I don't really think that that shows you the actual world of fuck craft experience but hey what else are they going to do hmm? show you someone who will call your names and leave the group and leave you stranded in the middle of a key that wouldn't be very fun on the other hand we could actually transmog fist weapons as a outlaw rogue and fist weapons have a really cool animation as a draenei hmm. oh yeah guys we have returned victoriously Let's head in this quest and get the hell out of here. Stormwind City, capital of the Noble Alliance. Though they hate from many different lands, the races of the Alliance convene in Stormwind on matters of trade and diplomacy. Their age-old enemy, the Savage Horde, poses an ever-present threat. But no matter the challenge, the soldiers of Stormwind stand ready to face it. Fleeing a distant world overcome by demonic corruption, you and your fellow Draenei have secured a new home among steadfast allies. <coughs> Azeroth faces countless threats. Bold heroes are needed to rise up and defend her. For the Alliance! For the Alliance! For the Alliance! Alright, guys. So heroic. I don't need a tour through Stormwind. What I need, however, is to turn off these service channels. My god, holy shit. Do you think someone from Blizzard ever logs in and sees that and thinks to themselves, yeah, that went well, guys. We, we really cooked with that one. I have my doubts. And now we first need to pick out a mount and to be honest while we're still on the ground i always like to go for mounts that are ground bound only because soon enough we're always gonna fly everywhere so let's use them while we can and after i've done quite a lot for the infernal dire wolf and it's such a beautiful pet i'm definitely gonna go with this one for now and before we do anything else we are gonna go to a mailbox and let my bank character send us some heirlooms, some bags and obviously some money because guys, we are very much broke. All right, we have equipped most of the heirlooms that we need and I'm gonna see you in just a second when I have put on some fitting transmog and sorted all of my bags. 
And now that we have changed into some more comfortable rogue-esque garb, I would say I will end today's episode right here. I gotta say, it's such a nice change of scenery for me as well, so I'm really excited to hear what you guys think about this new project. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. It helps and is appreciated so, so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I really hope that I will see you in the next episode, whether it is with this character or my hunter. I can't wait in any case. Until then, bye bye.